the grandeur that is my sister, my best friend, and tonight's honoree of the Hattie McDaniel Award. Real sisters, thank you so much for bestowing this privilege, this honor on this remarkable woman. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. It starts. I just want to pay homage to you because I come from Miss Elizabeth. My grandmother is Elizabeth and my mother is an Elizabeth. So I'm going to pay homage to the Queen, Miss Elizabeth. <laughs> Alrighty. So now I am here with the pioneer and the legend, legend, legendary Miss Kathy Hughes from Miss TV One. I am so honored. We just had a behind the scenes conversation, but y'all don't need to know about that. I just want to say congratulations for having over 35 years. See, look at that. 36 years October of success. 3rd. October 3rd, it was, but now it wasn't all success, and I don't call it success even now. Really? To me, no. To me, success is judged when you close your eyes. Did you help more people than you hurt? I'm still a work in progress. God is still using me. Oh my goodness, like I said, if you guys don't know her, you gotta go Google everything. Most, pretty much everything that y'all been watching for the past few years, pretty much your whole entire life. This young lady right here has produced and made that all possible. She's done radio syndications, she's done internet radio, she's just everything, TV, everything. Uh, as I was sharing, I just realized that my great, great grandfather started a school. And so it's like full cycle now with me having a school on the campus of Howard University in the area of communications. I just keep saying, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because it says to me that Howard says, job well done. I agree with that. I actually do feel as though that you've done a, a, a tremendous job at trailblazing and, and everything. But for a young lady who is trying to be where you are, who has dreams and ambitions, and she may not know the sacrifices that you have overcame to do this, what advice do you have for someone like her? That you have to keep your eye on the prize. You can't allow the bumps in the road to make you give up the ride. You have to understand that the bumps just help you appreciate when the ground is going smooth and everything is going your way. You have to have a comparison. If not, you would take it for granted and you'd blow it. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Miss Kathy Hughes. You are a just, oh, I, I'm just like speechless. I, I feel like I want to, I want to, I want to, I'm sitting next to a legend. Oh, but I just would love to have the opportunity to actually sit down with you and talk to you and actually interview you for the Loving Legends Legacies TV series that we're actually doing in the near future. Is that okay? Call me, absolutely. Well, perfect. Look at that. Thank you so much, Miss Kathy Hu, the Movement Remix. This is Sierra. Stay tuned. Radio, and for the first time in my life, I heard what I thought were black disc jockeys. Turned out that it was white men pretending to be black because black folks were not allowed to be on the radio. So I was 10 years old, and I got beat up every morning because there were six of us living in the projects. And I would go in the bathroom, six in a house with one bathroom. I'd lock the door and do a morning show. I was practicing to be on the radio, and I didn't care how much trouble. My toothbrush was my microphone, and I was not coming out till my show was over. You can't disappoint your audience. And my brothers would attack me. I would get punished. I'd get cursed out. It did not matter. I continued doing my radio show because I had a goal. And Kevin, what you didn't know is the number one connection between me and your great aunt. I had the goal of becoming the first black woman with a nationally syndicated radio show. I was 42 years old before I found out Hattie McDaniels had already done that. I am so thankful. I'm so thankful that nobody told me because it was my inspiration and my motivation. I'm talking about, yeah, one day I'm going to have a nationally syndicated radio show and I'm going to be the first black woman to ever do this. And this Someone said to me, uh, excuse me, uh, but he <laughs> already did that. So I had to find some other things to do because Kevin's great aunt had already occupied that space. 
I have to honestly say I am just so, 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 so honored 